Hello everyone of YouTube. It's me, your brother, Ira Highlander. Okay, first of all, three, well, several announcements to make. Uh, first of all, I am going to play several other games that I have. And um, I am, am going to continue on uh, on Final Fantasy, the online one. It's just at the moment I need to pay off, but I need to pay off some other things as well. So at the meantime, I'm just going to play a bit. Of, I'm just going to, well, basically go through Dark Souls. And um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die as well. Let's get to it. I always like that so much. No new info. you've seen it maybe in a dream a murky forgotten land well depends on how forgotten it is Souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything once branded. The symbol of the curse. An augur of darkness. Your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Damn, you are so blind. That's uh, that's a lot of fireflies or fire beetles. Okay, what the hell? Okay, that that's just cool. Oh. For that, 
is your fate. The fate of the cursed. Later, world. I regret everything. I remember playing this on PS3, except I'd never finished it. And I've also heard that the graphics have changed a lot, in which they really do. Damn. All right. Well, let's get through this. I know what you're all thinking. Um, there's just an item right here, and I should get that. And I should haul ass because I have no idea what these things are. Gotta be extra careful on here. Alright. Okay then. Let's see what's in here. Hello? <laughs> what seems to be the rats? Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. All the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear, didn't you? <laughs> Wait, are you talking about the beginning? Then yeah, I did. Finished. What? You'll go hollow. Yes, you will become one of them. Hollows prey upon them, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the cursed. <laughs> Go through it. Awesome, you could be full. <laughs> At least you know your own name. Uh, thanks. Here's your reward for sharing. Oh, I well, thank you. It's a human effigy. Thanks. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? Hmm. Think back. Deep into your past. Yes. It's an effigy of you. How? All right, let's see. Oh. 
Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Huh. Wow. One intelligent. Good God, I'm naked. <laughs> Not really. I have a loincloth. I think I'll go with a bit of... Yeah. Swordsman. Swordsman would do. Gift. A life ring. Hmm. I think I'll go with the life ring. I don't think I'll say what it was. Huh. No. <laughs> no. Uh, let's see. No. 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 Why? I guess. Yeah, I think that'll do. Okay, eyebrows. Yeah, I think that will do. Eye colors. That is, that's just too much blue. I think this one I'll do. I don't think the face really matters. I mean, in the fact that you're going to be wearing a helmet most of the time. And I think that's it. All people come here for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, we'll see about that. You never know. Yeah, see? <laughs> okay. You were guiding you. And trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going home. Oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. <laughs> okay, to many of those who don't understand, she's saying that I'll be dying a lot. I mean, Dark Souls, it, the whole Dark Souls series, it is basically... 
give him whatever you have for. Chest. Mine. Now let's get rid of that. Alright. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention, I hope all of you are at home, safe, safe and sound, keeping, well, making sure no, no one gets hurt, all that. Crap. My first boss fight already. Just kidding. Alright. I see you. Like I said, I know uh, basically most of it. I hate those damn Cyclops, Trolls, or Ogres, whatever there are. But that coffin you see right over there above my head. Oh, okay, so that's what it was. But yeah, that coffin right there above my head, it basically changes your gender. I found out about that. Bullseye. Well, I should better be keep it in two handed. Dagger. Jesus, those guys are. In case you are wondering, those are actually other players that I'm seeing. Whenever it shows like something white going through me, yeah, that's basically other players. Come on, come here. Ah, son of a bitch! Nice try. Ah, you. Dick. Not today. In case you're all wondering why I keep saying that, is because it's a reference to Game of Thrones. How I forgot one of the main characters. Well, the one of the daughters. Uh, she was trained under this you. sword. Okay, that that sounded so strange. Damn it. And whenever I ask for something smooth and silky, it's basically this. Crap. And whenever you leave them onto their nest. You get an item. Okay, going back to what I was saying, is that um, on Game of Thrones, there was this uh, teacher, one of the um, daughters of Stark, that was going under a training, and uh, the teacher, he basically says, uh, not today, meaning that to tell death that today is not your day. And that's why I keep saying it. It's kind of cool to say it. I'm not gonna lie.
do I want to get that? But risk of falling and dying to my death? Nah. I'm going to wait until I have more human entity. Whatever it's called. The stuff that keeps him from being hollow. Ah, the good old plunging. Suck it! Ah! A mysterious door. Let's see what it is. I'm not gonna lie, when I first played this... What the? Okay, that was weird. Anyway, when I was when I first played this, uh, I thought that this was going to be some sort of trap, like some sort of big et or some sort of very tough enemy was going to one shot me. Basically, dark. That's how Dark Souls is. He keeps you on your toes. You gotta be careful for what may happen, no matter what. Because one small misstep and it's basically your death. Man, quite the draft here. Ah, oh, that view. Just, just so perfect. Oh yeah, one thing to mention is that um, this place, Majula, is you're going to be basically hearing that theme no matter what. Well, except for the boss fights, but other than that, you're just hearing pure silence. And for me, that's just nerve wracking because you might not know what's going to be happening. Oh, hello there. Who are you, stranger? Business with me. The way you under is all blocked up, you see, by this god awful statue. Heavens above. Who thought it a good idea to pit it there? Oof. I'm in quite the pickle now. See that statue? Gives me the willies. You stare at it for long enough, it starts to look alive. Ah, it just doesn't seem quite right. There are no craftsmen round these parts. Hey, you don't think a real life person was turned to stone, do you? Okay, so what he means is that I. I'm not going to enter there because there are two poison enemies there and I'm just barely beginning. But above my head, if you could barely see it, there's a person on a lever that has turned to stone. And the enemies in there are the reason, or the cause reason of it. And you see these red spots right here? Yeah, those are basically people who just died like for example yep those two just died so fuck that It's best to just level up and get stronger.
Okay, there we go. Let's just rest up for a bit. I have no spells. Oh yeah, this was the um, item change at that crow's nest. Basically, it helps out with fire stuff. Well, I infuse this with a weapon and it becomes, um, well, basically a weapon that can be, that can have a burn effect as well. Pretty neat. I wonder if that, and the ring is not equipped. Let's just equip that ring. Another person right here. Get the hell out. Shiny. Another Shiny. Now these are basically, uh, um, they're called homework bones and, well, I'm pretty sure you can see them, but basically these things help me get back to the last bonfire that I was. Basically your checkpoints of this entire game. And the only safe point that you have. Whenever you die, you get respawned right there. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Damn it. Are you the next modern? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse? I will take this with you. Damn it. May it ease your journey. He who made Drang like what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendrin. Okay, basically the Emerald Herald, this woman right here, she'll help me level up and get myself stronger. As long as I don't do anything bad to her. I mean, what do you think I am? Some sort of monster? Huh? You, you little, little creeps. I am not going over there yet. You see that little brown spot that between those two little pillars? Well, at the end of there. There are three little pigs that I remember back when I was playing this. They are hard as hell. I mean, no matter what you do or what you, how you attack them, they're just, they're just hard, man. All right, so this will help me uh, restore my health. And we fill in this shit every time I'm at a bonfire. Let's just pop one of these. And another one. And I'm set. Hmm, I wonder how it would look. Anyway, 
way not bad. How is it heavier? Man. Well, I just realized I have not much time. So on that note, I'll see you all later. Take care. And make sure you share, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and spread the news of me. Just spread it. Doesn't matter who you tell it to, your friends, your family, strangers, I don't, I don't care. Take care. And later.